does this not bring all of us in public life into uh, dispute? The, uh, assembly member, this is not the business of this assembly. And therefore, I'm, I'm going to ask you to bring, either, in, either bring, it back, bring it back to the, the mayor is assembly, in public, I'm sorry. The, the mayor's competencies. I'm sorry, the mayor is in public life, and I am asking if it does not bring all of us in public life, and the mayor will obviously include himself and mayoral candidates in his reply, and I would really appreciate it if you would stop interrupting me. Thank you. I've always been clear that nobody is above the law. Those who broke the rules at a time when the public were being asked to make huge sacrifices should be held to account for their actions, not rewarded. Assembly Member Cooper. Th thank you, thank you, Chair. I mean, obviously, our condolences to Assembly Member Bailey um, on his loss that has prevented him from coming here this morning. But I think the issues that relate to um, the video footage and also the invitation that was sent out talking about jingling and mingling when mingling was specifically something we were asked not to do um, overrides that. I think there are some really important principles relating to the Nolan principles of public life mm. and showing a better um, standard of upholding the law amongst people who have been elected. And, and on that basis, I hear what you say about the peerage in the House of Lords, but we have someone who now may then be subject to a new police Ass Assembly member, the, the job of this uh, Sorry, Assembly... Sorry, I'm just going to ask a question. Yes, and I'm just chairing. Yes. Um, it, it, the, the, the job of this Assembly is to hold the Mayor to account, not other Assembly members, no, I'm by not. which there are if, routes if for satisfaction. If you don't uh, mind, if I could just finish my question. Thank you, Chair. Do you think it's appropriate that a member of uh, this Assembly should be on the Police and Crime Committee when subject to an investigation, chair one of our committees when subject to an investigation, or indeed is it appropriate that they should accept or indeed be offered a peerage in the House assembly of Lords? Does, does, does it not bring all of us in public life? Assembly member, assembly member, the opinions of the Mayor on how we chair things and how the Assembly... Please, life, please uh, yeah. finish um, your comments. Yes. The, the you. opinions on the mayor, of the Mayor on how we do our business is not relevant does to this forum. Does it not bring all of us in uh, public life into disrepute? Well, that's repute. fine, but, but that's you, fine. That is your opinion and there are other routes for you I to do hope this is that. not going to be taken off my time. Does this not bring all of us in public life into uh, disrepute? Uh, assembly member, this is not the business of this assembly. And therefore, I'm, I'm going to ask you to bring, is either, in, either is in public bring it life. back, bring it back to the, the mayor is assembly. In public. I'm sorry. The, the mayor's competencies. I'm sorry. The mayor is in public life, and I am asking if it does not bring all of us in public life. And the mayor will obviously include himself and mayoral candidates in his reply. And I would really appreciate it if you would stop interrupting me. Thank you. I'd like to hear from the mayor. Chair, I, th I think I, th I think uh, we've got to accept whether you're a member of the assembly, the mayor a parliamentarian in the Commons or the Lords, or a councillor, this is a plague on all our houses. Uh, not just rule makers being rule breakers, but the perception there's one rule for one group of people and one group and one rule for another. And it is serious, the points that have been uh, made. But it's not simply uh, no action being taken, the, the concern the public have, but it's the reward that goes with support and the disgraced Prime Minister at the time who was also a rule breaker. And I think uh, those who don't condemn this behavior, those who silence an acquiescence to promotion to the Lords will regret that in the long term. I just, wanted to, ask, I just oh. wanted to ask the Mayor one further question, and I just wondered if the Mayor is uh, likely to be posing any time soon with any of the Assembly members uh, similar to this photograph. Well, Chair, you know, I, I think it's for others to explain uh, their own behaviour, whether, whether that was the wisest thing to uh, do. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Assembly Member Russell. Thank you, Chair. Um, just very briefly, we in the Green Group are deeply concerned by the new evidence that has emerged that the Mayor has just raised involving the conduct of a member of the Police and Crime Committee, which I chair. All of us in the Assembly have a responsibility to uphold the highest standards in public office. We are the voice of London, and Londoners expect us to abide by the law. I personally would like to request a meeting with the leader of the Conservative group to discuss this matter, and I would just like to know whether the Mayor Asse has asked Assembly for that. Member, My question to the Mayor oh, is, I would we'll like to know whether he has requested a meeting with the leader of the Conservative group. Thank you. Chair, 
Uh, no, I haven't requested uh, such a meeting with the leader of the Conservative group. No, thank you very much. We now move on to the priority order paper. Each group is allocated amount of time. Oh, I beg your no, pardon. No, can I'm I just so flag for something funny going on with the clock? So the Greens are taking my time. The Labour clock went on with only a minute. Something weird's going on. So um, uh, we need to address we, that. We'll, we'll, we'll look into it. We, we, we shall you. do that.